Domination. Hello guys, in this video today I'm going to be telling you obviously by the title how to be well better at COD, help improve accuracy, help improve like strats and that. But anyway, to start it off, walking around corners is very helpful, obviously, because if there's someone around this corner, if he's running, I can shoot him first. Because, well, I'm walking, he's running, he's going to have to aim in first. I can just hold R1 and shoot. Or if you're on Xbox, uh, I think it's RT. I'm not even properly sure. But, he got but yeah, walking around corners, that will help you a lot. I'm not very good at doing it. I like just running at them. But you should really walk around corners as it helps a huge amount. Second... Uh, red dot sight or thermal um, sights are very good if you're trying to get into like um, competitive Call of Duty. You're not allowed to use the tracker sight anymore. It got banned because it's OP. And why is he not dying? It's really OP because you get no recoil. You can use it on any gun and get no recoil. Use it on the Vector, no recoil. Vepa, no recoil. Uh, what has a lot of recoil? Uh, I was going to say an LMG, but they don't have any recoil anyway. Uh, well, you can use, any, use it on any gun and there'll be no recoil whatsoever, even if you're using the iron sight of it or the tracker bit. So using a red dot sight does help, but on SMGs, not as much apart from the vector. Um, it's really good in the vector, but then again, it's the iron sight of the vector is good. Uh... Oh, he must got destroyed. But if you're going to use a red dot sight, it's very good to use a grip as well. A red dot sight makes your gun recoil more. Well, that's what it feels like anyway. Um, so using a grip with it, that will help you out a lot. Well, massively. And, well, yeah, you'll start destroying people. Uh, third, use... I've just said grip. I'm an idiot. Uh, fourth. Or third. Whatever way you want to think of it. Uh, use ready up or quick draw. I advise using quick draw on ARs, so like Remington's, honey badges, or whatever you're using. Um, and uh, ready up, I think that's what it is. Uh, if you're using SMGs, because you're more likely to be running with an SMG, whilst with an AR, you're going to be camping more and not exactly running around with it because you'll be slow. And running around with an AR is really annoying and boring. Plus SMGs are better. Well, I'm an AR player, but still, SMGs are much more fun to use. Um, number five or four, I don't even care what you want to think of the numbers as. Use focus. The amount of people I see use focus is actually annoying. Uh, focus is possibly the best perk to use. Because I'm using it now, and look, my gun is barely swaying if someone shoots me my gun don't go flying up like that it will just slightly move like that so at long distance it will help a lot and well yeah use focus if you don't then you're not going to win many gunfights well, you won't you won't win as many if you're not using it than if you are using it i think that's correct anyway uh number seven sensitivity Use a low sensitivity, it helps at long range massively. You saw earlier with that long range shot, top red, that massive warehouse over there. Uh, sensitivity helps out a bit because it just helps you uh, with recoil a lot. And moving your analog a tiny little bit with a high sensitivity will make you, your aim just go all over the place and will really not help you a lot unless you're turning around and killing someone. Ah. So yeah, use a low sensitivity. I'm using free at the moment free is ideal even two you can even use two but i'll use from a sensitivity one to the five range um they're the best ones to use but anywhere above five your accuracy will be not as good as it could be at long range so t it's so t uh, <laughs> so sensitivity um, seven, this is optional, kind of, I'm, I'll mix these two in together. Uh, I have a scuff controller, if you don't know what a scuff is, you can either search it or I'll tell you. 
Uh, it's like, it's just a normal controller. But, well, it is a normal controller. But it has two paddles on the back. The left one is for X, and the right one is for circle. These help with jump shotting, jumping up and down, and crouching or drop shotting. Um, they help massively if you want to get into competitive Call of Duty. Or you could claw, which is use your index finger on the X circle Y, X circle triangle square. Get a mix up there with the uh, Xbox controller. Um, but. It depends how you feel. If you're using the Xbox controller, Claw's not that bad, but if you're using PS3 or PS4, um, then it might be a bit more difficult to use because you use, you'll be using your middle finger to use... Well, middle finger to shoot and your index finger to press X and circle and triangle and stuff like that. I, I play Claw occasionally just to test it out and plus i want to go an xbox one and i'll probably play claw then but a scuff does help a lot and the thing i was going to mix in with it is i use a monitor uh, a benq 25 inch they just help hugely because if i'm looking at the middle of the screen uh, i can see most things around me to the left corner and the right corner i did want to get a smaller 22 inch but i couldn't they didn't have any so 25 inch is fine uh, plan on big screens. The graphics aren't as good because it has to stretch out the picture more, and well, it's just more difficult to see things in a big screen. Uh, big screen. Uh, nine. <laughs> Use the correct perks. At the oh, in the, at the moment, I'm in a pub's game, so I'm using amplify and stuff like that. But if I was in a clan v clan game. Um, I wouldn't be using some of the perks which I've got on. I wouldn't be using Amplify or the Elite or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. Well, Gambler, that's it. It's under the Elite thing. Because, one, you can't use them. And, two, I don't know what I'm talking about. Clam Clam, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, you want to use the correct perks I've already told you about. Focus, you need that. Uh, dead silence, definitely need that. If you don't have to see, look, he hasn't got it, and I can hear him from a mile away. Uh, if you don't use dead silence, then you're not going to do very good, especially if you're going to get into competitive. Steady aim. Uh, I'm not sure if I've showed you how good steady aim is, but it's insanely good. Let's just say that. Because if you want to pre-fire something, like, say, if you know someone's around this train, I know you can shoot for it, but if someone's around it, you can just pre-fire it like that. And he doesn't really have much chance of killing you. That's only if you know someone's there, but you can do it if you don't even know someone's there. Just helps. get If you get the first bullet, you're more likely to kill him unless they worry you. Which is annoying. I'm out of bullets. I've got him looking. Oh, sorry about that. Um, number 10, well, with the correct perks, that's, I'm going back to number 9 here, with the correct perks, it just helps a lot, because um, if you're not going to be using the correct perks, then you're not going to exactly kill people. I'm using Marathon, I always use Marathon, Ready Up, which I told you earlier about, aiming in quick and stuff like that, um, Tack Resist, Focus, Dead Silence, and Amplify, I wouldn't be using Amplify there, I would probably be using, uh, am I not even using Steady Aim? I'm not even using steady aim. I thought I was. So that's without steady aim. But if you use steady aim, that crosshair is so small. It's all good. <laughs> uh, number eleven. I'll show you this with this gun, even though it hasn't doesn't have any bullets in it. Run, looking at common places where people be. So there's a dumpster right there. So if you think someone's going to be there, run looking there, and so you can just aim in straight away if they're on that head glitch, and we'll kill them. If you know, there that is. Um, well, I put, I put that on a common camping places, basically. Where people are just going to be sitting and waiting for you to run around the corner so they can kill you. So another good one is on that barrel. So if you're here, you can just run up staring at that and really quickly aim at him. Kill him. Um, Twelve is expect 
the unexpected. So there could be someone in there. If you're running in there, just expect to see anyone anywhere on the map. So it, everyone's leaving. Just think that wherever you're running, that's where someone else is going to be. Even if they're not there, just think that they are. So you're, you're ready for if they're in there. You just gotta have your brain always ready, and you'll probably win a lot more gunfights just thinking that someone's there. I think there was a 13, but I have no idea what it was. I didn't write it down. I said I said to myself I was gonna remember it, but I haven't. I'm not really sure why I said that because my memory is awful. But yeah. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I've done a couple of things on like how to improve your aim and stuff i think i've covered all of that in this video so you can still check it out but i think i've covered everything if not then i'm sorry but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this this is live as well most people would just go over a video but i can't be bothered live live's more cool anyway i hope you enjoyed i hope this has been helpful informational i don't even know what i'm going about anyway um leave a like if it did help comment for other videos i did try the gold knife but it went awful uh but yeah anyway like comment subscribe helpful and don't get destroyed in game sale.